kids welcome back to kids church we are so happy that you have joined with us this evening so before we start before we sing we dance and we hear the story shall we all pray together let's pray our father we just want to thank you and praise you for this time that you have given to each one of us at kids church for giving us an opportunity to come together father as we have come and as we are going to uh, enjoy our time at kids church we just want to thank you for all the different attributes that we have learned thus far and we pray that even today as we learn one more attribute of who you are we pray that you would bless uh, our lives in special ways so that we could always hold on to knowing who you are and what you call us for we pray that you would bless our time at kids church in jesus name we pray amen have a great time Thank you so much Uncle Neil for leading us in that word of prayer. Now we're going to move on to our singing time part of our kids church. So let's go and enjoy sing and dance to so so many songs. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
Anything can happen. Can't hardly wait to see what's next. I wanna face this world with wonder and excitement. It's every challenge, every day. Now, we're going to move on to the attributes of God. Hello everyone, we have been learning the attribute of God and today is the last attribute. So before our lesson starts, let's review all we have learned so far. Almighty, Bountiful, Creator, Deliverer. Everlasting, faithful, Thank you. good, healer, Emmanuel, jealous, king, king, long suffering, merciful, never tiring, omniscient, omniscient, provider. Quick to listen. Refuge and Savior. Trustworthy. Unchanging. Joyous. Wise. Exalted. Yahweh. Thank you so much, all of you. It was so fun seeing you say the attributes of God so excitedly. And I hope all of you remember these attributes of God even later on in your life. Now we're going to move on to story time by Auntie Mai. Hi, everyone. How nice to see all of you here again this evening at Kids Church. And can you believe it? We are on our last letter in the attributes of god amazing right all of you did such a wonderful job reviewing from a to y which we did last week well the week before last because last week was thanksgiving so today we are going to uh, learn about the attribute of god with the letter starting with z can you say z z write it on the air z yes in some countries they say z but in india we say z so Z it will be. Now the word is zealous. Not jealous, don't get it mixed up with that. We did jealous a few episodes ago, right? But this is starting with the letter Z. Z can you say that? Z zealous. Zealous. Very good. Now what does zealous mean? What a weird word. What a strange word. Have you even heard of that word? Zealous. Can you say that? Zealous. Yes, it simply means that you do something with great enthusiasm, with a lot of energy and joy, and you're happy to do it. You do it with your whole, whole heart. And that is being zealous. And did you know that God is zealous? Now, let me try to explain what the word zealous means so that we can all understand it a little better, okay? So, let me ask you, do you have a favorite sport? Some people like cricket, some like volleyball, and I think Bunny likes volleyball because he's got volleyball, right? Or some may like football. Auntie Rahil loves the team Liverpool. And some might like whatever sports. You know what sport I like? I like kabaddi, kabaddi, pro kabaddi. And one day my husband even took me to a game. It was so exciting. Okay, so you are watching a favorite game of yours. Now, when you watch that game, are you going to say, oh, look at them run. 
Okay, go, 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 make a goal. No, I don't think you'd say that. You'd probably be jumping off your feet and you'd be saying, Yay, come on, team, go, kick the ball into the goal, or come on, come on, do your best. And you'd be cheering with your whole heart. You know what you're being? You're being zealous. You're being zealous for your team. You want the best for your team. You're cheering them on. And that's what God does. He wants the best for us because He is a God who is zealous, a zealous God. Now, I want us to go all the way back to the beginning of when we first started the attributes of God. Remember what A stood for? Right, Almighty. And remember that God sent the 10 plagues to the Egyptians, right? Well, finally, finally, Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt, decided to let the Israelites go. So the Israelites are walking and going, right? And what happens? They come to a big sea called the Red Sea. And it's deep and it's wide and there are no boats and many many of them probably could not swim so what are they to do meanwhile in Egypt Pharaoh made a mistake he said I have made a mistake I need to get those Israelites back so what did he do he sent his army to go and get them back and so here are the Israelites they're stuck in the middle on the one hand, there's the Red Sea. On the other hand, they can see the army of Pharaoh coming to get them to go back to be slaves again. They were so frightened. Some of them were probably crying and saying, Mommy, what are we going to do? Daddy, what are we going to do? And the people looked at Moses and said, Moses, what are we going to do? We're frightened. And Moses asked God, God, what are we going to do? And God did something amazing because he is zealous for his people. He wants to do what is best for them and he is going to protect them. So let us watch what God is going to do. And for the older kids, you can find the story in Exodus chapter 14. So you know what to do to go and read it after kids church. So let's watch the video now. People left Egypt. They marched out into the desert. God did something very special to help them. He sent a tall cloud to guide them during the day. It was very dark in the desert at night, so God changed the cloud to fire. It was like a giant nightlight. Now God's people could travel, some during the day and some at night. Back in Egypt, Pharaoh had changed his mind about letting God's people leave. He sent his army after the Israelites to bring them back. Closer and closer, the army of horses and chariots came. God's people stood right by the Red Sea. There was no way across the water. Pharaoh's soldiers were behind them, and the sea was in front of them. It looked as if they were trapped. Just then, God moved the tall cloud behind his people to hide them from the enemy. The Egyptians couldn't see anything. The cloud made it dark for them, but it gave light to God's people on the other side of the cloud. Then Moses raised his hand over the sea. All night, God pushed back the sea with a strong wind, and the water split to make a dry path to the other side. The 
Israelites safely reached the other side. But when the Egyptian army tried to use the same path, the water came back together and covered the soldiers. And that was the end of Pharaoh's army. Isn't that just amazing? To have a God who is zealous, who will protect and who will do it wholeheartedly for his people because he loves them very much. He loves you and he loves me very much. Now I want you to imagine something, okay? I'm also going to imagine along with you. So I've got my cap. Pretend you've got your cap because we are going to go on a boat, okay? Now you're going on a boat fishing with your father on the ocean and it's a huge ocean and suddenly the waves are rolling the wind is blowing really hard and it blows your oops blows your cap off now do you think your dad is going to turn the boat back and say oh let's get the cap maybe and most probably maybe not because the cap is not so important and the storm is coming but supposing you fell out of the boat now what do you think your dad's going to do? He is not even going to think. He's going to just jump in and save you, right? Because he is a zealous father. He wants to save you. He's doing it with his whole heart. And that is what God does for us. You know, we could not get to God because he's a holy God and we are sinful people. And so you know what? Because God is a zealous God, he provided a way out. And if you have been listening to our, our kids' church in the previous episodes, you will know the ABC of salvation very well by now, right? But we are going to review it again. Hi children, it's time to revise our ABC of salvation. So can I request you all to put your thinking caps on? Okay, now that you have your thinking caps on, I'm going to ask you, what does A stand for? Does it stand for um, amazing? No, it stands for admitting. And what do we need to admit? Well, we need to admit that we are sinners, right? All of us, we're all sinners and we need to admit that. The Bible tells us in Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means we are all sinners and we need to admit that, all right? Now that we have admitted, A admitted, that we are sinners, what's the next step? Well, that's what B is for. What does B stand for? Does it stand for bread? No, B stands for the fact that we need to believe that Jesus is Lord. And it's very important that we believe that Jesus is Lord because the Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4 verse 12 that salvation is found in no other name for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. So we must believe that Jesus is Lord. Now that you have A admitted that we are sinners and you know we believe that Jesus is uh, that Jesus is Lord what's the next step that C right C stands for call upon his name whose name God's name the Lord's name right and um, the Bible tells us in Romans 10 13 that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved so that's your a, B, C of salvation. A, admit, B, believe, and C, call upon the Lord's name. All right? Now that you have heard the A, B, C of salvation and you would like to be saved, well, the next step is to say a prayer. So would you just um, bow your heads and, you know, fold your hands and pray with me? Okay, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we just want to thank you so much um, for your son, Jesus Christ, through whom we can have salvation. And this evening, Lord, we admit that we are sinners. We believe that Jesus is Lord and we call on your name to be saved. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Now don't forget your ABC is salvation, A admit, B believe, and C call on the Lord's name. Isn't that just so neat that God provided a way for us so that we could go to Him? Now what is our responsibility? Well, you know, we can do whatever we do with our whole heart as if we're doing it to God so that we can bring Him glory. For instance, supposing you have to finish your homework. Instead of saying, oh man, I've got to finish my homework. What a boring thing. Well, rather than saying that, you can say, yes, I will finish my homework because I want to do it as to the Lord. I want to do it with my whole heart and I want to do it joyfully, even if I don't feel like it, right? That's the key. Or if your parents are saying, okay, put away your toys now, time to go to bed. Instead of saying, oh, how boring. Again, I have to put away my things, so tiring. No, 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 no. Instead of that, you can say, yes, I will keep my toys away. I will put it away nicely and I will go to bed in time because I want to do it for the Lord with my whole heart and I will do it so joyfully. Okay. And so that's our responsibility. So will you do that in everything you do? Do it for the glory of God. And guess what? Our memory verse is just that from Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 okay here it goes like this whatever you do let's do it again whatever you do work at it with all your heart that's a key with all your heart as working for the Lord and not for human masters let's do it again okay Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 whatever you do work with all your heart as working for the Lord and not for human masters remember God is zealous not prophet Hi, welcome to craft time. We just learned that God is zealous for us. He will do anything for our good. So we too should be zealous for Him. But how do we do that? It's very simple. Do whatever you do. Do it with all your heart. And that's the key. And for our craft today, we will be making this key ring which will help you to remember the key which is do everything with your heart. So let's get started. To make this craft we will need some colorful constructions paper like this. We will need a sketch pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a pipe cleanser, or a stream. First, we will take our colorful construction paper and we're going to draw here a key shape. So let's draw it together. And if you are not good at drawing, no problem. You can Google it and print it out. As you can see, I already draw a key here. So I'm going to draw the key with this other color paper also. Now we will cut this uh, key out. Okay. Once you're done with all the keys, uh, now keep them aside and take another sheet of paper and draw a heart shape. As you can see, I already draw it. Now we will cut this out. So, 
so here are the keys and here is the heart shape now we have to make holes in the key and in the heart okay if you have a hole puncher that is great but if you don't have take a sharp pain or any other object and make a hole like this just to put our string or pipe cleanser through it okay so let's hold all of them and put them in the pipe cleanser As you can see, I put all my keys in the pipe cleanser now and but I didn't put the heart yet. I had made the hole and I'll write our memory verse here. Then I'm also going to put this in the pipe cleanser. Now let's write the memory verse. Memory verse for today is Colosseo 323. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. as working for Lord not for human masters Colossians 3.23 Now we will put our heart which has the memory verse in it in our key ring. So here we go. We will put this So our key ring is ready. I hope you had fun making this craft with me and I hope these keys will remind you that the key is whatever you do, do it from your heart. Okay, see you next time. Bye for now.
Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. We hope you've had so much fun, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.